Hey everyone, it's Mary from Pure Equestrian here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a talk through riding awards and a rundown of the Natawa Show Hunter show that me and Max went to. So before I start to ramble on, let's get on with the video. So this is our 65 round and of course right away we land on the wrong lead. Really gives the judge a good impression of us, doesn't it? Uh, we're coming around to jump two now. I was really thankful that he switched his lead in the corner and after this jump he lands correctly. So I was pretty happy with that. We got down that line in five strides, which is the correct number. So I was pretty happy with that and with him listening to me. I'm not super happy at this turn because I could have made it a bit sharper, but overall I was happy with the way he listened. We made it down this line in a nice number of strides as well, and he was really listening to me during that line. And over the final two fences, I was pretty happy. We did this in a long five. It should have been a short six, but he listened and was really, really responsive, so I can't be mad at that at all. That's 75 round, which somehow was worse. So we landed on the wrong lead, but he changed it coming around the corner the minute I asked, so I was really happy with that. And then I absolutely bury him to this next fence. Thank God he let me out of it. And then we come around the corner disunited, which causes this to happen. Just a rail, but still could have been better. Coming to this jump, I was a little worried he was going to stop because there was a filler there, but literally I don't need to worry about it. He listens really well and he's really, really brave. That corner was a lot nicer and we get down this line nicely to begin with and then I put my leg on and cause him to rush and bury him to the next fence. This line is a lot nicer, but unfortunately my friend stopped filming so we didn't get the whole line. So this is riding back home a few weeks ago, so we come over just the first tiny jump which is really nice and this is my first time bringing him around to this oxer and he listens really really well and I've got a lot of confidence back going over oxers now thanks to him. So we start off with a slight disagreement about the speed we should be going but then he ends up listening to me so that was really nice over that jump. He lands on the right lead and I give him the best turn I probably could have in this situation around to this jump here, which is a nice wide oxer, which he took amazingly. Square turns. Let me go around to this nice wide oxer, which my darling horse decides to bolt off on me after, but I did manage to get him back to me and we did continue our course. So this is the rest of the course and we make it down this line in five strides, which is what it's supposed to be. And I'm beyond stoked because we used to not be able to get five strides in a line like that at all. We'd always get five and a half or six. Square turns. Then I gave him a really nice turn there, so I'm really happy with myself. And we go down here, which is a one stride, and I was really happy with him listening to me through that. And then it's a bit of a hard turn down to this double here, and it is a two stride. This was the first time I jumped Max in a halter, and I completely bury him to the base of this jump. And lucky me, my horse saved my ass. This is our second attempt, which was a lot cleaner. I decided to test my steering out, so I put two jumps together, and he gave me a really nice distance to this wall because I stopped managing him. We did land on the right lead, but over the pole he changed it because I think he thought we were going to the bigger oxer. And he went really nicely over the second jump. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed watching me make some really stupid mistakes while riding.